Let's make some tissue culture media. Questions I get asked all the time. How do you make your media? Where do you get it? What do you put in it? Why is it called agar agar? How much do I add? Do I use hormones? We're gonna get into all that right now. This is how I like to do it. All right, we're gonna get everything ready. We're gonna start with a silica source. In this case, it's vitalized for mills, our DKW, basal media with vitamins. We're gonna use sugar, that's our carbon source. Organic coconut water has got sugar and a bunch of great hormones. Um, and then our agar. So let's do a recap real quick. Silica, one mil per liter. Almost all of them are one mil per liter. DKW, 5.32 grams a liter. Or sugar, 30 grams per liter. Our optional coconut water is 100 mils or 10%. Uh, agar, uh, the strength on agar varies, but we'll get into that a little bit more. Okay, let's get mixing. Distilled water only. Um, or our water. Do not use tap water. It's too, uh, it fluctuates too greatly depending on where you are, city, country, all that stuff. So we're starting with distilled or RO. 80% is what we're going to add. So in this case, 800 milliliters. We'll top it off to 1,000 at the end, but we start with 800. Silica always goes in first. Any silicate source, potassium silicate, uh, any of these acids, it doesn't matter. Silica always goes in first. Um, and then the whales mixing format, uh, liquids go in before solids. So we're going to do our silica first. Next up, we've got our coconut water. 10% of a liter is 100, so we're going to do 100 milliliters. Technically, I should have added 700 milliliters of RO and then did the 100 mils of coconut water to get us to 800, but that's okay. Now we're gonna add our DKW Sol media. There's a lot of TC medias available. Um, MS is the most standard one. MS does not work great for cannabis. She's, it, it's like pretty much universal for every plant, except cannabis and hemp. Uh, DKW is the one, 5.32. Ooh, look at that. Oh, damn it, so close. That's okay. Close enough. Now we are going to mix our DKW uh, very thoroughly. Make sure that is fully dissolved before we add our sugar. It usually dissolves pretty fast, but you want to make sure uh, we're fully dissolved. Okay, sugar time. Um, 30 mils, or excuse me, 30 grams per liter. However, there was sugar in the coconut water. So if you're gonna use coconut water or anything else that has sugar in it already, you wanna make sure that you account for that. Some media is, some sugar is included in the media where you can just buy it with sugar and vitamins. So in that case, you wouldn't need to add any sugar, additional sugar. In this case, we had 20 grams of sugar in the coconut water. So we're gonna add our 10 grams of sugar to get us to about 30 grams of sugar for this liter. And we're gonna measure our agar. We are not gonna add the agar yet. We have to pH before we add agar. Um, gel strength varies with agar and it, it varies a lot. It's super annoying. Um, it's usually around 15 grams per liter, um, but I found that's always far too strong of a gel um, and it makes it very, very thick and it's hard for it's hard to get plants in there. Um, so for this, I'm using I believe eight grams of agar. Um, eight's kind of my safe number I found with a lot of different types of agar. Um, sometimes it's not enough. Um, it depends on the other inputs that we're, we're adding. You're gonna have to play around with it and figure it out. This is one of the big things. Um, if you were gonna color your media, now would be the time to do that before you pH it. Um, I like to add food coloring to 
indicate what type of media it is, the pH, the EC, how much sugar, a lot of things. This person added way too much for that middle vial, but uh, one or two drops of food coloring gets you that nice blue or green or yellow. Don't use red. Uh, for some reason, plants really hate red food coloring. Not sure why. So final step, well, not true, almost. Uh, pH adjust, five, nine, five, eight, six, somewhere in there. Usually the pH will drop 0.1 or 0.2% um, during the autoclaving process. So you want it a little bit higher and assume it's gonna drop a little bit um, when you go to autoclave it. So we've pH'd it, we've added our agar, you want to make sure it's mixing and blending well because agar can get a little funky um, and clumpy. So you want to avoid that. And our next step is we're going to top off to a liter. So now I've got one liter of media. Uh, I didn't use any food coloring in this case, but you know, pretend that I had. Um, Final, well, again, not final step, but another next step is we're going to cover the tin foil. So this will protect our media uh, when it comes out of the autoclave and make sure it stays sterile. We'll remove the tin foil right before we go to pour our media. And then what I like to do is take a little of this autoclave tape and I just stick it on the top there. And this helps me know what has and hasn't been autoclaved. Uh, I like to auto put pretty much everything in tinfoil, uh, plates, jars of water, you name it. Um, and it's very easy to tell which one has been autoclaved. It's got tape with the, uh, with the lines on it. Um, so moving into the, the final step here is our actual autoclaving process. Um, you need to hit 15 PSI. That's our minimum for the autoclave, up to 20. Do not go over 20. Um, and in this case, we're doing a mill or a liter, so it's 1,000 mils. That means it's 40 minutes of autoclaving. Um, I've gotten away with doing 20 minutes plenty of times, even with multiple liters of media. This is something you're going to have to kind of tweak. It is what it is. Um, another fun fact, a lot of things that aren't technically autoclavable, if they survive the autoclave, then guess what? That's autoclavable. There's a ton of, there's so many things that are like, do not autoclave or doesn't say you can autoclave that thing, but you can. Uh, sometimes you can't autoclave them a lot of times. Um, sometimes if you autoclave them for too long, they will, you know, not make it. But you can kind of play around and find out, you know, what is, uh, what's autoclavable and what's not. Um, and save yourself some money by buying things that may not necessarily be autoclavable. Um, but good rule of thumb, anything that's stamped PP, which stands for poly polypropylene, is almost always autoclavable, um, or actually always is autoclavable, because you're looking for stuff that's, you know, able to handle those kind of temperatures. So like deli cups are a really good source. That's what I use for pretty much everything. The lids you have to make sure are PP. Sometimes they're like polyethylene or some other material, which definitely will melt in the autoclave. Um, I mean, we've got to get that up to 121 C, which is really quite hot. Um, so, you know, things to note on that. But you made it to the end of the video. Um, thanks for sticking around to kind of a boring, boring, sciencey video. Um, we're going to be doing a bunch of these. We're going to probably do some making TC live stuff. So stay tuned, follow, like, subscribe, all that dumb shit. Um, but it does help. And if you're interested in cannabis and TC, um, stick around. We're going to finally compile all of these into a full series. So we've got prepping media, making media, autoclaving media, pouring media, you know, gel strength, different types of media, um, different inputs you can use, what those do, why, how, all that good stuff. Um, explant prep, surface sterilization, uh, endophytes, you know, um, micropropagation, probably diving into um, 
a little bit of meristem dissection and meristem culture, uh, pathogen remediation, you know, hop latent viroid removal and, um, and stuff like that. So stick around. But yeah, like, uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow us on all the social medias, join our discord channel. Uh, we've got a whole TC section in the discord where I'm there pretty much every day. Uh, I'm just chopping it up. So if you've got questions, hop in there and, uh, you know, say what's up. All right, that's it. Go away. Go, go do TC. Go make some media and let me know how it goes. Thank <laughs> you.